Hi, I'm Eric Lanask. We're here at IT Expo in Florida 2017. Uh, with me in, uh, in our studio of sorts uh, today is Charlie Jones from uh, Sennheiser. Charlie, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Uh, this is our first time uh, with the meeting room products here at the IT Expo. And I've uh, got to be honest, it's been a great show. We've uh, seen a lot of people that uh, otherwise we really wouldn't have a chance to get in touch with, uh, especially guys from the uh, Latin Central American market uh, and some uh, distribution partners that uh, you know we've been trying to get in the door and uh, it's nice when uh, you can have a cocktail with somebody and uh, meet on a little more less formal environment. Well that's great to hear and, and how have all those folks uh, responded to what you've shown them? Well I'll be honest the biggest problem is when we tell them no they can't take uh, our demo units with them uh, back home. Uh, it's been a tremendous uh, demand for our new conferencing products. Uh, guys are really excited about it and, uh, and it's rejuvenating to, to see excitement in the marketplace for something that's uh, fairly innovative and, and different than what we've been used to in the past. Excellent. Well, that's great to hear. Congratulations. Uh, speaking of those new conferencing products, uh, can we talk about those? Absolutely. Actually, uh, today uh, I brought uh, here to your studio one of our new Team Connect wireless uh, medium systems. Uh, we launched the Team Connect wireless uh, case system, which is a, a four-puck solution uh, last year um, in the middle of the year. And uh, this year, uh, we're happy this is the North American debut of the new uh, medium variant for uh, small to medium size huddle rooms, breakout rooms, or, or conference spaces. So let's, let's talk about the pucks. How do they work? Absolutely. So what you have is these completely wireless pucks, each of which have microphones for both voice as well as noise canceling and a down firing speaker so that it uses the surface of the table to get frankly a lot more audio than you'd expect out of uh, such a small compact unit. Um, as you can tell, we, we paid a lot of attention to the aesthetics. Uh, you know, the conference rooms uh, are, can, can be very formal places, and we want to make sure that this is uh, accepted and uh, used in everything from a breakout huddle room in a maybe urban loft environment to a more formal environment like perhaps a law firm. Um, the idea was we wanted the system to be super easy to use. Uh, we didn't want people to have to deal with complicated instruction manuals, trying to figure out how does this thing really work, how does it doesn't work, uh, how does it not work. So with our master puck, it has the connectivity. So you'll see that it has these small icons that allow you to do things like, for example, connect Bluetooth. So if I touch the Bluetooth icon, take any device that supports Bluetooth, in this case I've got an iPhone, and I say, yes, I want to accept that connection. As soon as I do that, bam, we are now connected. And you'll notice that we now have a nice little touch interface to adjust the volume for the pucks. Each puck has individual volume control. So perhaps if we have one at the end of the table, we want a little bit louder. The other end of the table, a little bit quieter, not a problem. In addition to support for Bluetooth, we also have a USB connection. Uh, this works well with uh, lots of different soft clients, such as Skype, GoToMeeting, WebEx, Zoom, uh, BlueJeans, you name it. Uh, it works well. Shows up as a uh, native uh, speakerphone in PCs, Macs, uh, even Chromebooks. Don't have to worry about downloading drivers. Again, trying to keep it easy. Um, our third connection option is uh, using our quick disconnect cables that allow you to interface uh, the Team Connect wireless into uh, any VoIP handset. Um, and then one little extra icing on the cake, as it were, is that the system will automatically bridge across all of those inputs. So let's say we're on a Skype call, Bob calls your mobile, can't get into the Skype call. You know how Bob is, he always loses the password. No big deal, we'll pair in your mobile. Now he can hear everything that's going on in the Skype call, everybody on the Skype call can hear him. At the end of the time, you know what, our meeting's over. We simply place the units back into the base, which charges the units. Uh, nice thing is, eight hours of talk time, don't know about you, but if your meeting's going over eight hours, I feel for you. But if that is the case, uh, the batteries are even swappable. So we could swap that out. Charging is as easy as just placing it into the desktop charger. Made it simple so that any way that you place it, you're good to go. And the system will go to sleep. Uh, so let's me, we left it on the table while I we went to lunch. It'll go to sleep so it's ready to use when we come back. Um, the new Team Connect wireless uh, two-puck variant uh, is shipping now from Sennheiser, as well as we do have a four-puck variant uh, for larger rooms. What's the, pr uh, the price point on the two and the, uh, the four-puck variants? Absolutely. So the two-puck variant uh, street price is around 2K. Four-puck, it's around 3K. Uh, of course, your mileage may vary depending on what you've worked out with your uh, suppliers and things, uh, but distribution is available uh, virtually worldwide. 
can can the pucks be used while they're in the charging dock? No, they can't. Uh, so one thing that we did again, trying to keep it easy, mm -hmm. when the puck detects that it's back into the dock, it one uh, turns off. And two, we'll also drop any connections that were attached to it. Uh, just because perhaps maybe you were uh, connected to the puck for the previous conference call doesn't necessarily mean that you should be listening in on the next one. So we designed the system that when they're in the home base, they go to sleep and they're ready when you pull it back out fresh and new so that everybody knows how to start from scratch. What about um, the audio quality? How's it, how, how do they sound? Well, Sennheiser is a 72-year-old uh, German microphone company. Uh, if you saw the Super Bowl, uh, Lady Gaga, big user of our microphones, uh, Adele, Ed Sheerhan, Foo Fighters, Katy Perry, Beyonce. Uh, and one thing that we never compromise on is that audio quality. So we took that same technology, some of the same microphone capsules that, for example, we use in uh, news broadcasts, and incorporated that into these units. So we'll think you'll be very happy uh, with the audio quality. And to that end, we're happy to arrange a demo so that you can try it before you buy it and make sure it's going to work for your application. Uh, do you envision um executives or uh, or even in conference rooms uh, between meetings say uh, turning them on and just using them as a speaker to l play music absolutely uh, I got to be honest I'm just as guilty of that as the next guy uh, you know it's it's there on my desk I want a little bit of music uh, or something in the background just to uh, help while I'm filling out all those uh, sales reports so not a problem because it supports the full four Bluetooth 4.2 standard uh, it works great for music just as well as uh, for voice Excellent. And where can interested uh, customers find them? Uh, I recommend going to our website, uh, Sennheiser.com, where we have a dealer locator. Uh, and it's available from all of the common uh, IT and telecom uh, distribution partners and channels. Well, excellent, uh, Charlie. Thank you so much for joining us, introducing us to the new products. They are certainly very sharp looking. Thank you for being here at IT Expo. Hope you had a wonderful show. Absolutely. Thank you for having us and uh, looking forward to next year. Thank you.